there, maybe now? Yeah, there you are. I saw, I saw the light. Perfect. Yeah, I was like, is there no blue? Oh. <laughs> it was just following the Sabbath rules. Yep. It's like I shouldn't be plugged in. Sorry. Shouldn't be. It's not nighttime here yet. Not even nighttime. Extinguish that fucking thing. <laughs> yeah. That flame is unholy. Mm hmm. Unholy like a vamp. Oh. Yep. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's too early for us to get into that. Oh, we shit. You're right. about okay. Yeah. You can't immediately segue. Hello, and welcome back to RTFB. This is Travis, and today Chris, other Chris, and I are driving a stake directly into the heart of this Dracula book. Huh? Meaning, generally, that we're covering the middle section, and more specifically, covering chapters 11 through 19. And, since it's the middle section, it's also time to renew your status of favorite listener. Way to go. We love you, favorite listener. You are smart and kind, and a good dresser, and very attractive to whichever genders you prefer. And also, it's time to give you your special password, which in this case is Compassionate Decapitation. Compassionate Decapitation will be your code for potential upcoming giveaways and such, so keep it in mind if you please. Okay, that out of the way. Let's get back to my conversation with the Chris's already in progress. Yeah, we can't. Um, am I the only one that, like, really hates Halloween cooking shows? Uh, there are Halloween, Halloween cooking, cooking show. shows. I like that Christine McConnell one that was out a few years ago. I know, I didn't watch that, but in general I hate them, because everything they make looks gross as shit. Like, yeah. I don't want food to look like it's a dead person. Did you, you know, ever, She made, uh... like, wonderful crap out of cakes and brownies and stuff, so... yeah. Do you ever do you ever see that uh, weird guy that had like the tasting menu where you have to eat the foam out of a plate that looks like his mouth? Uh, mm. <laughs> no, I didn't. I'm glad I didn't. Or like uh, people make those like tootsie roll things in a cat box. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, like, I don't want that. No, like, eat tootsie out rolls of a trash can enough. or a disgusting <laughs> exactly. toilet. And then the no, especially no. on the like Food Network Holiday Baking Championship, all the uh, judges get way dressed up. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I'm like, you're gonna get glitter in your food you're testing, and mm -hmm. I no longer trust your opinion on them. <laughs> 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 it looks gross. Doesn't I can't it? take you seriously with like a like a zombie face or whatever. Like, yeah, just, right. Like, make the themed food or whatever, but let's, let's have some respect for ourselves, people. I would agree. I still want to have to, I still want to want to eat it, you know? Right. And I don't want to eat cat box cake. I'm sorry. Yeah. I just don't. Not, not really down for that. Not no. Like, no. uh, dirt and worms, that's okay. Well, yeah, because that's the ones like... I've had as a kid were like, made with like cookie crumbles and gummy worms that's so that like, was yeah. alright that's the line alright like everything <laughs> past that line I don't accept <laughs> what was no. it I used to remember like we did it one year like in kindergarten we made like witch's fingers out of hot dogs or those were like body parts <laughs> or something I can't remember but. Yeah, yeah that game that where you pass the cute. food yeah yeah, yeah no, but like, I didn't have to eat it then I just got grossed peeled, out by it peeled grapes in a bowl Ugh. yeah for eyeballs mm. jello brain yeah I don't like it don't like it at but all. that's as far as I'm willing to go. Yeah. The rest of it, I'm like, no. I didn't have to eat it afterward, too. That was the thing. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, everyone's hand has been in that bowl. Uh, it, it was the 80, late 80s and early 90s. It was okay. <laughs> yeah. Disease. We were all around. still allowed to catch diseases to build up our immune systems. <laughs> yeah. So it was our only method back then. As, yeah. as George Carlin said, because we swam in raw shit. <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly right. Our colons are fortified. <laughs> We we didn't get polio. Mine's not. <laughs> well, in in general, we we as a species. Yeah, that's a generation. I still think mine was due to undiagnosed condition at the um, time. Yeah, damaged some stuff, but yeah, 
Could have been worse. Could have lost a foot or something. So that's true. <sighs> no. Yeah. Didn't want didn't want to do that. No, that could be that could have been the introduction of oh you have this here we have to take your foot now. I'm like great. <laughs> Having both feet is uh, is nice. It is optimal. It is. Yeah, it is optimal. It's above average, technically speaking. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you really think about yeah, it, the average person right? has less than two feet. That's that's true. <laughs> Not much less, but I I can't I can't think of a lot of people that have more. <laughs> I cannot either. I'm sure maybe some who had more toes than they were supposed to. But does that count as part of a foot? No. <laughs> You'd have to have more than just like one extra toe, I think, two, on your two two tenths of a foot on your I, foot. So, like, I'm, I'm willing if you to had believe half of a foot. I'm willing like to believe the average toes. is less than two feet, but is it is the average less than ten toes? I, or do you get polydactyl people that are like fucking up the, the average? I wonder. I wonder if the average just uh, no. You know, I think more people have probably lost toes than have extra toes. It's probably. I true. was going to say that. That's what gonna, if it was exactly the same? And it balanced it out. Balanced perfectly. <laughs> There's like one guy who like had 15 toes. Like the light toes. side and the dark side of the force. <laughs> right? One yeah. guy with 20 fucking toes. There's, there's, a Neil the Gaiman, <laughs> there's a Neil Gaiman style god that's making sure that all of the toe count. <laughs> that's that's where it is. That's our answer, Chris. We figured it out. <laughs> yep. The god of, that's his one job. The god mm-hmm. of base 10. Yeah, <laughs> and he's probably like what's left of some Slavic god or yeah something like that. Probably true. <laughs> <laughs> A Slavic god of toe removal. <laughs> yeah, a lot nicer than Chernobog. So yeah, well, it's he's like that Japanese ghost that asks if she's pretty, mm-hmm. and if you say yes, then she's like, "Well, I'll make you look like me." He's like, "Wouldn't you like to have fifteen toes?" And you're like, "I guess." He's like, "Good." <laughs> but you're really supposed to like be like i have an appointment i gotta go doesn't mm-hmm. doesn't ask you where you want those toes though <laughs> no they're all right here i take an extra one on my forearm for like holding stuff yeah yeah a nice nice toe right there just like for a shopping bag <laughs> all right it's just something so you don't have to make two trips from the car like a towel right <laughs> right right i'm saying Help you fold some socks or something. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Hang up your coat. Mm. Yeah, so Fort Worth is a shithole, and I hate it. Oh. <laughs> oh I literally got out of the car and came inside and turned on my computer and signed on, so. Mm. Yeah. So I'm glad I didn't do 4.30. Or I've been panicked. So so you're still <laughs> all covered in Fort Worth. <laughs> the worst place on earth. And you're still breathing it out. <laughs> oh. It's in my lungs still. Ugh. We'll be a, for a few weeks. I need a blood transfusion. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's still too early. Yeah, that's probably true. Probably. God oh, damn yeah, okay. it. <laughs> Stop trying to jump into this. <laughs> I'm just making reference. That's all. Because I didn't get it because I just got out of the car. I didn't have a chance to go back over my notes. So I got to remind myself what the fuck we're talking about later. Oh, but. my God. <clears throat> oh. But, like, I saw a guy die last weekend. Whoa. He got better. Oh, well, you, you were there. Better. You were there. Like, cut his fucking throat at the Renaissance Fair. Oh, yeah, yeah, ah, yeah. okay. <laughs> that was intense. Yeah? I don't... They, they didn't do what that. What show was that part of? What act was that? They, they killed our guy yeah. in the joust. Yeah, fucking Brandon oh, You're not won. supposed to do that in the joust. <laughs> I don't no, know if his they, name was Brandon, but it sounded like they're saying Brandon. Whoever did that was supposed to be executed then, because you don't do that. Yeah. Well, he got better, so it was all right. That's yeah. not what jousting's for. <laughs> it's dishonorable. Very well, dishonorable. This isn't gladiatorial I mean, times. The, right. The, the crowd told the bad guy to do it, and yeah. so he did it. Brandon. The worst. You know what? Funny Crowds Brandon. don't know what, what the the order is, what the honor is of a for this kind of tournament, so I don't let them determine that. I will not have you besmirch the Renaissance Fair crowd in St. Louis, sir. They are not experienced <laughs> enough in the ways of the late They're medieval period. Only the most hey. upstanding and knowledgeable of <laughs> That's <laughs> right. No. Only no. only so many of them were dressed as sexy fairies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Levi was a little confused. He's like, that wasn't in the Renaissance. I'm like, 
<laughs> Levi is correct. At least it's yeah. like the know. pirates that are usually wanted around somewhere too. Yeah, pirates and mermaids, and we saw like a we saw a link. Uh huh. More than one. Yeah. Mm. You see any Star Trek crew members? No, but I made jokes about that. <laughs> so that's the thing like, that people say like these like, this exists done. that people yeah. show up as an away party. Yeah. yeah, and yet I've never seen it. And but I like someone's like my double one to that is then I pull them aside around the side of a tent and show them the com badge on the inside of my doublet. Oh. My doublet. <laughs> and I go, hey guys, you just fucked up like five years of research and planning here. I'm going to report you to Prime Directive. We get guys. back. I mean, yeah. it it would be really confusing if Valerian and Laureline showed up. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, but then people would be like, oh, that's just some guy. If you're cosplaying as space a, man. <laughs> the character from the movie. Just a guy in a shirt. <laughs> and his girlfriend, I guess. I don't know. We were talking about that on Yom Kippur at Break the Fast, because some of the J Triad people were there, because they were really trying to like mm-hmm. get a group up going in Winston, too. And so apparently they're going to the Renaissance Fair here, but that's during oh. one of the wedding weekends, so I can't go. Oh. We all joke, well, we should dress up like medieval Jews, then. <laughs> and we're like, oh god, uh, how do we do that? I'm like, we could try to find the weird hats that supposedly we were forced uh-huh. to wear and all the artwork. Yeah, but then the oh debate was, were those ever real or not, or were they just done in the art, like yeah. the weird wizard conical hats? Yeah, and I was like, shirts. well, for sure, one thing we could all wear is wear a yellow circle, but that's just kind of depressing now that I think <laughs> that about is, it. That is, uh, so, yeah, some people might not quite get the context. Yeah, I'd be like, we're Jews. This is what happened to us in the this is this was the good years in the middle of the You guys ages. you guys could you guys could like really ironically go as the Inquisition. Oh yeah. <laughs> no one would expect it, I hear. And and it, it, no, no one would expect it. <laughs> no. Uh but yeah, like like if anyone asks, like, no, it's cool, we're all Jews. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. We turned it it's on all them, good. on their heads. We're taking it back. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Be like, yeah. hey, it's not Purim yet, everybody, but... Uh, yeah. <laughs> they Honestly, they wouldn't know. Be like, yeah, it's for Purim. They'd be like, wait a minute, let me consult my calendar. You're a yeah. week early. <laughs> <laughs> Months early. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. No one knows. Oh, you could totally get away with it. Yeah, they could. Yeah. They also wouldn't know what you meant when you said that, so... No. But... Nope. But you would. Even though many Americans think they are knowledgeable in other religions, they are not. <laughs> I have learned this over the years. They know jack and shit about anything that's uh-huh. not really Christianity. And even that, so. it's kind of sketchy. Oh, yeah. But it's really know. a little less sketchy than their knowledge of, like, Judaism or yeah. Islam, other than what Fox well, News hosts have screamed at, <laughs> at people over the years. Well, the, so. you've got you got Passover and you got Hanukkah, and that's basically it. Well, a lot of people only know Hanukkah. <laughs> oh, yeah. There's well, way too many that don't even know Passover bet, exists. I bet our generation knows about Passover because of Rugrats. Yes, that's probably so true. So it's probably all good. Yeah. yeah. Good old Rugrats. <sighs> and I'd be yeah. happy if they go, oh yeah, like in Rugrats? I'd be like, yep, exactly. <laughs> that was exactly right. Exactly. We a all just taught the you about the Maccabees. Now. Yeah. And oh, Moses you could dress up as the Rugrats the instead. Yeah, that's what we should do. The Renaissance Bear. We'll dress up as the Rugrats, but we'll have to pick either the Mac. The Hanukkah special or the Passover one. Or we could have two sets and then everyone's covered. Yeah. So the Hanukkah yeah. special ones and Passover. Yeah. So you got Tommy as Moses and I guess Tommy as Judah Maccabee. I can't remember the Hanukkah one as well anymore. Dress as Tommy but uh, uh, cosplay as Charlton Heston. Like, oh, there you <laughs> go. Use his voice but dress as Tommy Pickles. <laughs> that would be great. <laughs> I would love to do that actually. That would be fantastic. <laughs> so you got time to plan for Passover. Now let's go. Yep. Anyway, I used all my good segues already, so like, no ah, segue. I did. <laughs> You'll have to re-edit them into no something No segue new, at all. Know. Book. <laughs> book. Book. <laughs> what did you think about this middle section of the book here? It's getting exciting. Yeah. It is. Things are going down now. It is. I mean, it, it started with, you know, more of the same shit, I guess, but uh-huh. that probably just has to do with how we broke it down. Yeah. yeah. But it Luck led the places. Draw. If if yeah. we had cut it like one chapter or two chapters later, I think. Yeah. It would have been too many pages though. Too yeah. big. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> but like <laughs> Luck of the draw. Yeah. I have to remind myself that like, yeah, a lot of shit did happen in here, but like I feel like they sure talked a lot about it. Oh, they mm-hmm. really did. Man. Um 
So, so just uh, pages of just like I'm going to talk for like 20 minutes, if, guys. If like, you forgot anything I, that happened, you will be reminded. Yeah, my my like one you of, won't forget again. <laughs> one of my favorite authors uh, uh-huh. is is Stephen Bruce. Yeah, right? and um, you know he 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 writes books in a, a couple of different styles, right? One of them is is really sort of like first person narration and like very sort of down to earth i guess mm-hmm. but like almost as a joke uh uh he he wrote books in the same universe that are written by a an in-universe author mm, who writes yeah. historical fiction uh-huh and he writes it kind of in the style of dumas oh okay <laughs> and uh he he had a joke among some of his author friends that like they formed a group called the pre Joycean Fellowship. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and uh basically like all all of these books that are written in the style of this historical fiction are like uh like six, eight hundred pages long. <laughs> oh god. And god damn. They have they have sections of dialogue that are like like you know, so so are you going to tell me? Yes, I was just about to tell you. Well, then I can't wait to hear your story. Well, then allow <laughs> me to explain. Okay, and like like it's seriously like an entire page of them going back and forth before one of the characters is like, "All right, well, you just fucking tell me the story." <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, nice. Yeah, well, and that I I got a lot of that in this where yeah. they're just they're. They're saying a lot of words. Right. Okay. Right. And not saying a lot with them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, and I was I was reminded, like, last time we talked about it, like, again, I would love to read this book without knowing shit about vampires. Yeah. And, like, of the mindset of someone in the 1800s, because maybe, maybe I would need that amount of time to really start digesting, what the hell is this guy talking about? Yeah. Mm-hmm. But, Most you know, for me, I'm like... Yeah, he's a goddamn vampire. I know it was him, okay? It's Dracula. <laughs> like, I followed <laughs> Yeah, I've the whole time. Yeah, she's a vampire now. I'm not going to be shocked into fainting or whatever. Like, it's fine. Right. <laughs> but <laughs> were we point. late Victorians and right. didn't know anything about this? This would right. have been yeah. revelatory. Yeah, and in, in theory, if I'm telling that to, like, a real person, like, I got bad news. Your new wife is, like, totally a vampire now. Yeah. Totally I wouldn't just, like, vampire. walk in there and be like, man... We got to do something like tonight, but mm-hmm. yeah, but yeah, like this. I this could have been the, uh, a good cutting like... off head and stuffing mouth with garlic, though. Too, <laughs> just like stick yeah. to the heart, bro. Move on. Yeah, considering the the people Van Helsing's talking to are kind of like it's go, it's a what now? Like the bat? No, sir. No, a vampire bat. Like sciency here. Still pre early science <laughs> right. here. Let's let's be rational. Right. Physiognomy. Yeah. <laughs> no, we have to go with some of the old beliefs. Yeah. Things Me- beyond your science, sir. Measure the shape of her skull and you can see she's a vampire and like look. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly. Yeah. Uh so yeah, like it, if they wrote it today, I bet it would be something like fifty pages shorter, this whole section. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And like, let's just get to the head head chopping, guys. Like right. yep. we don't need to fuck around with like setting the stage for people to understand what we're talking about, but I did find some small bits interesting, though, especially, like... Yeah. Because my thing is, like, we're thinking of vampires grow fangs. Uh-huh. But no, it's more like, no, your gums and shit recede. And, yeah. like, your existing fangs just get, like, a little sharper. Right. And I'm like, that's interesting. That's a neat little yeah. little point. Yeah, but so, only at, like, only sort of at night? Or it's worse yeah. at night? I don't know. Right. But Something like that. Something like that. Um, completely forgot what I was about to say, but... Sorry. No, it's fine. It's my fault. Ruined. Ruined. Let's shut just it, stop recording. Shut right it now. down. Fucking All right. <laughs> God. Shortest podcast we've done. Twenty minutes. <laughs> We're including all the shit about Fort Worth too. Fuck you. Fort Worth. <laughs> yeah. Fuck Fort Worth. <laughs> you know what you did. <laughs> Being all far away from where I live and shit. And for anyone in Fort Worth, you can easily equally complain about him going no. back to Dallas. So. No, you can't. To the Plano area. It's just better yeah. over here. Mm. <laughs> he sounds a little snoo- snooty, doesn't he, folks? <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. It, it, basically, the summary of this chapter is like, shit's going down finally. Mm-hmm. But we're going to talk about it first. Yes. And I especially liked 
well, I was, what I was going to say before is like, I probably would have enjoyed this more if I had taken more days to read through it. Mm-hmm. But when I'm like, ah, I've got like 30 more pages to finish before I, <laughs> I can talk to people about this. And like, could you just get to the point? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, See, I'm, I want to rush him through, but I'm, right. I'm kind of the opposite because, uh, like, um, uh, whenever stuff starts happening in, in a book, like I start to read it faster, yeah. you know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it's like when it, it, it it's kind of weird how the pacing goes for me because it is like when things are slow in the book, I read it slowly. And then mm-hmm. when the pace picks up, I, I read more quickly. Right. And so, yeah. like, the the first section, the first couple of chapters of this section, I guess, like, I was still reading kind of slowly. Yeah. And then, yeah, once there were events. Right. Uh, then, then, like, basically all of the pages flew by for me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's fair. And, like, again, it's kind of like when all of our characters started, like, being in a single storyline. Yeah. Right. I mean, aside from the part where they were literally composing the book we've been reading, exactly. But, yeah, <laughs> I thought I thought that was pretty fucking meta. Yeah, yeah. I like I did like, like that, but <laughs> like time out to type our notes up, guys. Now, that now we have I an explanation yeah. from eighteen eighty seven. I, I, I especially like the part where she was, uh, where Mino was was like, uh, should, should I include the stuff that I wrote earlier today? And they were like, uh, yeah. <laughs> She's like, all right, all right, it's going in. I'm yep. gonna go type and it. And it now today. we were complete up until now. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And when they decided to stop including her, that's when things went south. So, right. Women belong places where decisions are being made, guys. Yeah, totally do. Anyway, <laughs> so if you can take two things away from this episode, include women and fuck Fort Worth. Yes, those are our major themes tonight. Uh, just, just speaking of that, I do want to, I do want to throw in just a, just a small point about the the old school misogyny in there. <laughs> yeah, because that was entertaining to me. Where they yeah. were like, "She's as smart as a man. <laughs> <laughs> she's as gentle as a lady and as smart as a man." Well, Aww. such high like praise. Se- secret well, deodorant, uh... you know. <laughs> she's pH balance for you. Yeah. Oh God. <laughs> Which, by the way, like, <laughs> P- I'm pretty sure most humans are the same pH, but whatever. Pretty yeah. sure. I mean, I don't, I don't know where you're putting that deodorant, though. <laughs> fair. <laughs> Very fair. Who knows where ladies put deodorant? They're mysterious, but they sure are good to cry on. <laughs> That part in particular, the parts where they're like... Learned the Victorians were a little different about their emotions <laughs> yeah, yeah. than we are. Some I forget who was saying, but some guy's like, good thing men only need like a firm grasp of the shoulder. And they're like, okay, you're good, right? Your wife just died, you're good? All right. Let's, we'll never <laughs> I mean, speak I feel like that's more than men today get, so. <laughs> <laughs> Don't even get the, we're here for you. Yeah. Get the, uh, mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> give them a dap up or whatever and go about your day yeah so yeah that was also fun (laughs) anyway uh do you want to go through some like specifics here again i haven't reread these notes and they're handwritten so like good luck Mm. but i again did find like i'd read like three pages be like i guess uh one sentence (laughs) yeah they said vampires are not cool but um (laughs) So, like, where we left off last time was with Lucy, like, constantly getting drained of blood again and again. And, like, despite Van Helsing, like, could you just wear this goddamn garlic? Like, mm-hmm. everyone just keeps taking everyone the fucking just, garlic. Everyone just keeps taking the garlic away. Like, it what smells the... so bad. Yeah. I yeah. like garlic. I don't know what they're complaining about. <laughs> and I the, love uh, it. And the, the, the maid who stole her crucifix. Yeah. Like, what are you doing? Just could you... I read in my source guy again, that was one of the ways they're still trying to hew to the Victorian thoughts on the lower classes. Mm -hmm. And that they weren't really worthy of being uplifted beyond the class they were in because they're prone to 
Just when you think that someone, oh, look at her devotion. Oh, no, she was just trying to steal the crucifix. Okay, that makes right. sense. <laughs> right. Keep your servants in service, folks. Don't try to help them better themselves. Yeah. 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 <laughs> they don't deserve the afterlife. But these prof- working professionals, kind of close to the gentry, yeah. yes, they're great. Right. It's it's a very bad thing that they're a vampire now, but... Um, That's well. unfortunate. Yeah. So anyway, like... Uh, we reopened like literally on September 11th with Lucy thinking to herself about how Van uh, Van Helsing and his garlic, like what a crazy dude, but <laughs> writing down like, I'm feeling much better now, so uh, good night, everyone. <laughs> right? and Dr. Seward and Van Helsing check on her in the next morning, and Mrs. Lucy's mom uh, says she's feeling much better. He's like, yeah, I knew it. He's like... But, you know, hang on, uh, I deserve some credit, too, for her feeling better, because I, like, took that terrible garlic off her neck. Oh, no. <laughs> and then I was like, you dumb bitch. Yep. <laughs> you haven't thought of the smell. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, this was, like, the end of that whole section of, like, we'll do this one treatment and make you better, and then someone will immediately undo it. But Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So... Uh, so once again, there's a transfusion of blood, and this time it has to be old ass Van Helsing. Oh, yeah, yep. And old uh, man blood. Something like four days later, Lucy's slept and is stronger again, but something is still beating on her window. And uh, they have uh, kind of an aside to an interview in the Paul Mall, which I guess is like a magazine. As I recall, it is, yeah. Talking about an escaped wolf from the local zoo. Uh, Wolfie. That was fun. I liked that guy's yeah. accent and stuff. Yeah. I'd liked him uh, basically checking with his boss, being like, uh, she doesn't want me to say this, but fuck her. I'm like, Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so he's like, we were, uh, you know, visited by this guy who looked a lot like Dracula. Mm. Right. Probably not the same, but anyway. Uh, <laughs> and uh, he would like you know checking in on their wolves and stuff, and then shortly thereafter that the wolf just like escaped. Yeah, like whatever. He just but, wanted uh, out. Kind of, kind of came back on his own by their surprise. Mm-hmm. And but his head he is cut. His dinner head is cut and full of glass. So whatever. Right. <laughs> you know this happens when you get out. Yeah. Yeah. It's a dangerous world. Wolves, wolves be doing wolf shit. You know? Get some glass in your head. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of that zookeeper guy, I especially liked him telling the story to the interviewer and being like, hey, and uh, when you asked before, didn't I tell you to go to hell? And the guy's like, you did. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, sure did. <laughs> <laughs> you did tell me to go to hell, but I yeah. asked you anyway. So He was, he <laughs> was, like, he was like, wait until I eat. <laughs> then I'll be better. Right. For now, he fuck was off. Angry. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yep. <laughs> have a have a Snickers zookeeper. <laughs> <laughs> then you can tell us about the wolf that took a vacation. Right. Um <laughs> It's like a like a Clifford the Big Red Dog book. <laughs> <laughs> Clifford harasses a young woman whose vampire's feeding on, like mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it's his final adventure. <laughs> oh jeez. Uh, what if Clifford was taken over by D- Dracula and like came under his sway? He could do some I, damage, I think. Clifford the big <laughs> undead red dog? Clifford could fuck some shit up. <laughs> yeah. Clifford the undead red dog. I like that. <laughs> I want that movie. More than the yeah. Winnie Pooh horror movie. I want yeah. that movie. Yeah, Clifford one. When is, when is Clifford going to be uh, a... Public domain? A public domain, yeah. Because Clifford can eat, like, swaths of people. His hunger will never be sated by... No. The populace. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like Fenrir. <laughs> oh my god, what if he is Fenrir? And he swallows oh, wow. the, the moon or whatever, like, on well, Judgment That's the end of the world, then. <laughs> <laughs> Game over for me, for sure, like... Anyway, yeah, the wolf got out, but he came back. <laughs> mm-hmm. And, you know, uh, Dr. Seward's uh, randomly attacked in his office by uh, Renfield again. This time with a knife, something up. like cutting his wrist. And then he's like, like lapping up the resulting blood. Saying, like, the blood is life. Must be something up with that guy. Not normal, but, you know, he's a lunatic, so. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, there we go. You know how That's they it. are. All for science. <laughs> and I also liked him basically saying, like, I can't afford to lose much more blood, guys. Like, I just don't need it. <laughs> right? Yeah. Just take some brandy. <laughs> yeah. It'll be fine. Yeah. If you've had a shock or any blood loss, the first thing to do is fill alcohol in your system. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's great for you. Yeah. I should get a bottle of brandy for this. <laughs> Spreads it out. Yeah, you should. I just, I just need to, you know, for medical purposes. Cut myself. Mm-hmm. I was cutting up the chicken for dinner, so time to drink. Yep. <laughs> there is um, an urgent telegram from Bound Helsing to be at Hillington. Uh, and an urgent diary entry from Lucy. Um, she's like, I got to I gotta put all this down before I fucking die. Yep. Mm-hmm. Um, she's like, uh, another night with no sleep. Um, and back is the, uh, the flapping at the windows again. That fucking bat or whatever. Um, her mother finds her awake and uh, cozies into bed to keep her warm, which I guess you had to do back before you had heating. Mm-hmm. But uh, it's like a growling outside in the bushes, and suddenly this wolf busts in the window. Like, oh, where would you find a what? wolf? Like right. just a random oh wolf. Um, mm. So her mom dies immediately with like a heart attack because well, yeah, she had that weak heart. Yeah, they did they talk about that about. before. Like, we can't tell her her daughter's turning into a vampire because that would right. scare her to death or whatever. Right. But, but then the wolf takes care. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, if this was Resident Evil, that would be your jump scare right there. But oh, I mean, God. I'd be pretty scared if a wolf jumped through. Oh God! <laughs> and then, and then those tank controls would just fuck you oh. up. Yeah, you're like, I'm never escaping. Yeah, no, yeah, never. Can't I can't kill the wolf? No, nope. can't hit it. No. Nope. Um. So yeah, fast. she's fucking dead, and like collapses on top of her. That's kind of terrifying. But mm-hmm. uh, then some like weird dust blows in, and she's all in a daze and pinned under her dead mom. The maids come in and see everything, and they're like, <laughs> uh, some wine. Let's lessen the shock. Like, get some wine for everybody. But yeah. uh, yep. when I guess someone had uh, uh, poisoned the wine or like laced drugged it, it with, laced uh, it. They drugged it, yeah. yeah, probably with opium or something. Yeah. Said, yeah, I wasn't yeah, sure if that was like her mom's medicine or just some random chemical they had, but uh, then they all pass out. It's probably her mom's medicine, yeah, yeah. And so she's like, well, time to die now. Love, Lucy. Signing off. <laughs> Gotta go. Just in case. Yeah. So Seward and Van Helsing arrive as early as possible next morning. Uh, have to break in, thanks to these lazy goddamn servants. Ugh. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the find, lower classes uh, can't do their jobs right. Right. So they find Mrs. Lucy dead and Lucy herself nearly dead. But they're like, hot bath and brandy. Again, she's in shock. Get her in hot water. Get yep. her liquored up. And a brandy. <laughs> yeah, I'm really feeling Chris too like I'm missing out now by not having a brandy. It's the cure-all. Yeah. Like, just, yeah. You can cook with it if you want, or you can cure any medical ill. Yep. Clearly. Including yeah. the ills of stress and depression. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Seaward's like, we're in a stand-up fight against death. And Van Helsing's like, if only that, I would just let her die. That's Jeez, hardcore. So hardcore. Yep. So uh, they're in need of more blood, but luckily Quincy enters, and that's the Texan, right? Like, yep. The guy our from American so. friend. Yeah. Our American friend Quincy's like, can I offer some of this blood? I guess like y'all, y'all are like Hattie. <laughs> I got some blood. He had probably used a slang term for donating blood too. It was like, here you go. <laughs> He's like, put me in, coach. Opens a vein straight away, and then uh, uh, Van Helsing uh, retrieves Lucy's last testaments. Gets uh, Seward alone afterward, and is like, uh, "Listen, uh, what in the wide, wide world of sports is going on?" Like <laughs> <laughs> Quincy, that is. He's like, "You said she needed another transfusion. You two were exhausted." I'm guessing that's like four men's blood that's in her. Like, yeah, <laughs> she's fit she's to burst. Be bursting, yeah, <laughs> bursting with blood. Yeah, so yep. he's also the smartest one in this book because he already figured that shit out. He's like, "What's yeah. been draining her of blood? What the hell? <laughs> Does she have like a plug in the back that you need to close before you?" 
tumps him in, but yeah. Maybe. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, he even talks about like some story where a horse he had was attacked by a vampire bat and was drained so much they had to just kill it. Mm-hmm. In this the world of this book, like vampire bats are like on every corner too. Like, oh, they are. They talk about Apparently, them all the time. It's like... fucking chupacabra. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Those Texan chupacabras. Yeah, exactly. Right. Like goat suckers. Yeah. So, yeah, I had a note like uh, econ's on like right away. So. Yep. Yeah. So, uh, so Lucy does sleep after getting more blood, but seems to be getting worse still. Plus, her teeth are sharper. Yeah, that's weird. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, Seaward's very convinced she's not long for the world. So, we do get a letter though from Mina that. Uh, uh, oh, a note from Mina that's noted that has not been opened by Lucy. Basically saying that uh, Mr. Hawkins, who he works for, had them over, and like Jonathan's now his heir because he doesn't have a kid, um, and he mm-hmm. wants him to take over for him when he dies. He's like, "P.S. Mm-hmm. When is your wedding?" But it was not to be. Nope. No. Uh, another correspondence about Renfield getting all agitated when some uh, guys on a cart stop by to um, ask for directions. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yelling at them like you shan't murder me by inches starts beating the hell out of them like what <laughs> and like now that I'm thinking about it these were the guys that were delivering some of the dirt yeah is that what they were doing and why was he yeah. so agitated about that because because Renfield wants to serve the master and they're doing his job oh he's like you're taking away my job yeah I gotcha He's like, you you fuckers. Yeah. <laughs> I'm supposed to be doing this. I have to move the 50 giant crates yeah. of clay but or whatever. I, right? I, I, my favorite part of that whole section, though, is just how thirsty those dudes were afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> just, yeah. oh, man, after, after being beaten half to death and moving all these crates, we... I'm know, still thirsty. Our, our throats are so dusty. Oh, my God. <laughs> If only yeah. there was some way to alleviate this. <laughs> right? And someone could just buy me a drink. Like, yeah. complain. Yeah. If only. Like, if, if someone only. buy us a brandy or something. Yeah. 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 So he beats the shit out of them. <laughs> like, throws them around. It's described like kittens. Mm-hmm. All three of them. Uh, before he's subdued again. And then, yeah, like, right after that, like, Mina's like, well, that old guy's dead now. We yep. have all of his monies, and we're coming to London for the funeral. She think she thinks it's the only funeral she's going for, but you know, Aww. right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Aww. Um. Then we come right back to another journal entry from Doctor Seward, where he's basically like, "Life is garbage, and everything sucks." Yep. Talks about Lucy's last moments. Um, luckily, accompanied by Arthur and Van Helsing. Uh. They basically note here that she seems dead when asleep and asleep when dead. Because, like, after she dies, she starts looking great. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So fine. Yeah. Which they, a number of times, are basically like, yeah, you know, when you're dying of, like, a disease for several weeks, once you do die, you look awesome. Yeah. Because you're not efforting anymore. Which, all right. Yeah, sure. <laughs> sure, whatever. Whatever. Or is that just an excuse? Maybe. Maybe. Because she's got like super sexy vampire powers now. I mean, that's how I it happened so. in Twilight yeah. when Bella finally turned. They're like, "Oh my god, you were hot before, but now you're like ultra hot." <laughs> Random <laughs> late anyway. Mm. Anyway, yeah. Before she had died, like <laughs> she was alternating clutching her, her garlic and then like throwing it away. And man, her teeth are sharp. Yeah, but Arthur comes in intending to give her a goodbye, like a last kiss, but. uh Van Helsing's like, fucking hell you won't. Like, yeets him across the room. Yeah. Like, not in your life, sir. <laughs> right? <laughs> Don't do it. <laughs> Which was kind of awesome. It was. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, in her last moments, Lucy's like, all right, well, could you please protect him? Because bad shit's about to happen. Mm. And then fucking dies. It's like okay. she knew. Yeah. Right. Yeah, and Dr. Caesar was, well, at least she's at peace. And Van Helsing's like, fuck, she is. <laughs> <laughs> Not so, sir. And again, strange how she seems more alive now that she has died. Yes. But, 
Also, like, I don't, I don't know if I didn't notice this before, but right around here is when I noticed that uh, Van Helsing like talks like Starfire from Teen Titans. Oh, you didn't he's notice like, that, friend John? Like, yeah. He, he <laughs> I mean, I know he had his... like a foreigner accent, but <laughs> no, specifically no, your... that formulation of like friend to John. In in your in your head, you should be hearing him as like Gold Member from Austin Powers. <laughs> right. Yeah. Well, he's from Amsterdam, of course. So. <laughs> No, I like him as Starfire. Yeah. Yeah. It is the vampire friend, John, but. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So uh, they're like, all right, guess we have to make funeral arrangements uh, for such a beautiful corpse. But uh, Van Helsing makes sure to put garlic all over the place in her deathbed and a crucifix on her lips. Yep. Uh, friend John writes to a solicitor friend. And I didn't make a note of this before, but they call back to them being like, let's not get, like, fucking other doctors involved. So in case shit goes sideways, like, there's no evidence of stuff. And especially with uh, the coroner, they're like, we don't want anything crazy happening with this, so. Right. Let's just get somebody in here who's not going to ask too many questions. I know a guy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> exactly. <clears throat> so he's like, yeah, let's write to this friend. Um... Also, I'm going to need to cut her head off, like, right now. <laughs> <laughs> Can't let it go any longer. I was, you know, I'm thinking about it, and I'm like, can I can I find a mortuary service that will cut my head off and stuff my <laughs> mouth full of garlic and steak you my probably head? probably yeah, can, but it yeah. won't be the one down the street. No. Yeah. <laughs> but if, you, if that's me, what you really want me to... Off somewhere. I bet... I bet if you accost one of the uh, Instagram girls in your cemetery behind your house... They'll mm -hmm. know. They might know a They'll guy. They'll do it for you. They might know a guy. Or you People can pay them enough. For me. <laughs> so you just got to find a state or a place that lets you do what you want for your funeral, yeah. right? Yeah. Not have to adhere to the weird local codes that the mortuary people got put in place so yeah. you have to buy from them and them only. And also bury so. me at a crossroads so in case I ever rise from the dead, I don't know which way to go. Yeah. Yeah. Kate, if you're ever interested in that, Society for the Good Death, Caitlin Doty... She's out in L.A. She does some yeah. really wonderful YouTube videos. She could probably help her. But not she the could probably help find a place burial. where they would do that for you. If that's what yeah. you want. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> probably not the crossroad burial thing, though. Probably the stuff no. you were talking about. Yeah. Probably. I will have a traditional Jewish burial. Which does not involve head severing. No, it just no. involves sticking me in the ground. <laughs> so, <laughs> ideally without a lot of chemicals, but... Yeah. Just, just wrapping you up. Yeah. Yeah, basically. In a shroud. Yeah. Stick in the ground. Like in Israel, you don't even have a coffin. They just stick you in the dirt. Nice. Yeah. Here That's you can probably have a efficient. coffin, but you just get a wood coffin. That's what you should do. Yeah. Just let me go back to nature. Let me go back into the life cycle. Yeah. Just a, a pine you know. box. Yeah. Yeah. I really like the one people, too. They're starting to, I think there's one out on the West Coast. But they put you, like, in the fetal position in a pod. Yeah. That's yeah. biodegradable, and it has, like, a tree sapling or something that goes with uh -huh. it. So you basically become a tree. Yeah. And it nice. makes cemeteries into forests. And I'm like, that's actually a really lovely <laughs> idea. Mike, uh, roll me into the, the alleyway with a sign that says, free, take one. Like, <laughs> <laughs> take an organ, leave an organ, it's fine. <laughs> yeah, you know. But yeah, it's I'm all not, good. Yeah. As an aside, I am a fan of just let us, let's, let us all return to yeah. the earth, so to yeah. speak. Or if you want to be cremated, just have an awesome like Viking funeral pyre or something. Yeah, that would be yeah. awesome. I, I yeah. joked about becoming a soup. <laughs> I mean, that must be consumed, just... or yes. Ugh. Oh no, I'm not going to do that. Sorry. In Sir... some places, you are allowed to be dissolved and have like it's called like a water burial. But Sir... I'm not going to eat me... you. <laughs> Serve me to vegans. Although I am tempted <laughs> I do, to, I, I, I give I, you permission yeah. to partake. <laughs> yeah, the only I am tempted can... to let science have part of me. If anyone's interested in finding out what humans taste like, yeah. So, <laughs> like, just take a leg. That's yeah. fine. Yeah. Yeah, I won't make, miss make it. Make some uh, some sausage. Yeah, yeah. See what some people taste like. Slow smoked. Mm -hmm. Some crisp jerky. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Uh, anyway, like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Van Helsing's like, I gotta cut her head off, and Doctor Steve's yep. like, that's weird, and he's like, I thought you were a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you such a puss? <laughs> I thought you were a doctor. Don't yeah. get so mired in your one way of thinking, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then they're about to go do that, I guess. But then he calls it off because, like, the crucifix been returned to him. Like, yeah, I, I didn't quite clock why that stopped him, but 
It's like someone's something's been going on. Maybe we're too late. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. So there's the note that Arthur like uh is now the next of kin for her family. Yep. Cuz I guess the solicitor's like, "Well, you were going to be married." So the yeah, yeah the uh the mom they set were, it up before she yeah. died. Yeah, uh, that's right. say they were officially engaged, so that did carry a status you could do that and like like you said the mom set it up that way, so. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. So like even though they weren't married, but they were, yeah, they're gun to be. It but still yeah, came they, uh, with some rights, I think, back but then. But the the lawyer being, like, super pragmatic about it, like, <laughs> I'm super glad she did that, because it's so much less work for us. <laughs> he was it very is. pleased, like, wasn't he? Yeah, and then and then they're like, oh, God, like, people just died. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, read the room, on, bro. <laughs> yeah, I was just about to cut true. a lady's head off, but I guess it's great you didn't have to do some, like, extra paperwork, but... Yeah. 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 Well, I mean... Have a will. That's all I can say. Yes, have a will. My cousin's gonna hit gonna hit two years since he died in a week or so, and it's still not resolved. So, oh boy, yeah. it's miserable. Make wills, folks. Yeah, it's already gonna be miserable anyway. You might as well make it. It is. As this takes the burden possible. off of people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the yeah. point of it. Yeah. So let anyway. your loved ones be free to just mourn your loss. Not have to do with all that other shit. Right. Right. So yeah, Arthur's another one who's like, you said she's dead, but like she looks awesome. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Even better than before. And this is again uh, where they first note men don't need a whole lot as far as like mourning or expression. Like they're fine. Yeah, until, until they're not crying until they're like, later. literally yeah, they just have on to a wait until chest, the like, right like, moment. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, you see a hot chick. I think that's your like first response, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. You just How can I lay cry. my head on her bosom? Like, to unburden all my emotions I've been keeping <laughs> bottled up just for that moment. Well, yeah, because yeah. like, Arthur's not the only one. Like, Jesus. Right. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway, boys get sad, too. It's a true statement. Mm-hmm. It is. And they would appreciate more than just like a, a high five. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Could go on record. And bottle yep. of scotch. Yeah, that would be great. At least, yeah, it yeah. would. Yeah, and like drink it with me. Mm-hmm. There you go. Yeah, even better. So yeah. even better. Ben Helsing's like, listen, Arthur, Bubby. Like, can I call you Bubby? <laughs> 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 like, we both love Lucy, like for sure. But um, can I like read all of her journals and stuff? Is that cool? He's like, I, I guess, I guess so. Uh, I promise they won't be boring, which I think we know is true, but he then like patrols the house all night, keeping eyes, especially on the room with Lucy's body. Um, another journal entry from Mina, I guess she's like picked up her journaling again, uh, talking about Jonathan, like receiving a shock after Mr. Hawkins's funeral, like seeing this, yeah. this strange, like dude, like just staring intently at some lady in Piccadilly mm-hmm. circus. And he's like, wait a minute. Is that, that's fucking count Dracula. Like right over there. What the hell? No like, that's way. totally him. Uh, he's in yep. London. He's in what? Fuck, dude. <laughs> that was the entire point of you going to Transylvania. So yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, remember you so bought a house for steal him. your like, shit and go to London. <laughs> Yeah, remember that. And, like, I had also forgotten that the house is literally next door to the asylum until later on when they, they all I remembered that. I also <laughs> yeah. pointed it out. Yeah, I'm like, oh, yeah. Like, I guess that is probably important to know. Mm-hmm. Note that he's, yeah. his home base is right next door, but anyway. Good source of food right there. Crazy Yeah, people. yeah, yeah. Yeah. No one will um, believe him if they tell you a bat's coming to their room at night. Yeah, unless they're a lunatic. You're like, you crazy person. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's... why are they getting sick all of a sudden? <laughs> I wonder. They seem very pale, yep. and their teeth are so sharp. But man, they're hot. <laughs> <laughs> Some sexy ass crazies. <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. So yeah, the Seward's making like a final uh, entry in his uh, journal after Lucy's funeral. Uh, Arthur, he notes, was telling everyone gathered there about the blood transfusion he gave him. It's like, that basically makes me her husband. Mm-hmm. And the three other guys like, uh-oh. <laughs> Don't tell him. <laughs> Don't like, well, tell him. Yeah, okay. yeah. We were inside your wife as well. Like, 
Yeah. I mean, our blood was inside your wife as well. Yeah. Which one of us gave her hepatitis? <laughs> we'll never know. Doesn't matter now. They don't know what that is, right? <laughs> Doesn't matter now. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, where was I at here? Oh, and uh, a note later on about Van Helsing like breaking down into hysterical laughter like a woman. <laughs> Basically, because that's he's... inappropriate. Yeah, because I think he's thinking back to that. He's like, doesn't that make her like polyamorous, like a bigamist, <laughs> basically? And you know, in many more words than that, talking about how like sometimes you just have to laugh whenever King Laugh comes in. Yep. To keep from crying, even though if you cry a little, it's cool. But I I enjoyed that passage. Yeah. I enjoyed his description of that uh, yeah. that feeling. Yeah. Yeah, and again, it was long winded, but like while you're reading it, it's kind of Shakespearean. And that yeah. kind of thing. If you're in the flow of it, it's not that bad. In a, but... in a weird ass accent. Yeah. 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 Friend, friend, other Chris, you're right. But, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Uh, so yeah, because of that and because like, he's like, I know, like I've got it figured out. So crazy shit's going to happen. Mm. Um, then a couple of like news articles about children, like just going missing, like third off by the blue fur lady. The blue fur lady. I was trying to figure out what that could have been. Blue fur. Blue fur. Sounds weird, but... Yeah. So yeah, there's like, they're like, oh, these kids in their games just disappearing for hours at night and then showing up places, like, looking all drained and weird. Yep. <laughs> it's probably fine, though. You know, kids. Yeah. Probably doing, like, a e-cigarette or something somewhere, I don't know. Yeah, probably. Doing the pass-out game. <laughs> <laughs> So apparently the internet says in older forms of English, bloofer is slang that means beautiful lady. Oh. Oh. Okay. Yeah, okay. So a hot lady's luring them away. And like, all right. Yeah. It's cool. It's the consensus right is it means it. beautiful, like in Cockney, up from children from that. Yeah. Pulling from yeah. Dracula, so. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. So... Also, at the same time, like, uh, Jonathan's, like, freaking out again. So, Mina's like, this has gotten bad enough. I'm going to read his journal from the time of his brain fever. Um, and coincidentally, shortly after that's getting a telegram from Van Helsing asking if he mm-hmm. can come, like, really secretly. Like, don't tell anyone, but mm-hmm. I want to pay you a visit. Um, having found her letters to Lucy and her stuff. So, um... He's like, you know, this is a great time to type up all these notes. Yes. And use those skills, right? Yeah, use those skills. And I was uh constantly impressed by like, God, they wrote so much shit, like very quickly <laughs> from here on. Like <laughs> even if they wrote it in exactly as it appears in the book, this is like three hundred pages that they just typed. Yeah. <laughs> just typed it up. Yeah. So yeah, she's an amazing typist. Hundred words a minute? I guess, like, Jesus. Sounds like it. Yeah. And then when he shows up, she's like, well, here you go. But she first is like, here's my shorthand version. He's like, thanks. Oh, wait a minute. You ass. (laughs) How am I supposed to read? She's like, that's okay. I got this. And like women, right? Like They like to have their jokes. Oh, my gosh. Like to have their jokes or whatever, but, uh, yeah. Well, you know, you got to keep it light when you're talking about your friend that just died. Yeah, and your husband's brain fever. Yeah, yeah. In a foreign gotta, land, you gotta you gotta throw in some uh, King Laugh there. Yeah, King Laugh just comes in sometimes. Yeah. And in fact, like uh, King Hysterical uh, Tears pops in right here when he's like telling him about Jonathan as well. Yeah. Uh, my handwriting is shit. But I think this says it's all right. Shorthand. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's definitely shorthand. Like, it's so short you can't even read it. It makes it very fast. But uh, she's telling about it, Jonathan. It's like, uh, you're going to think I'm really crazy when, you, when I tell you about this. But uh, he's, like, very, very impressed with her. And, like, keeps praise on her all the time about how great she is. It's, again, mm-hmm. like, especially for a woman. Like, Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> like, you're proving that, like, heaven is real. <laughs> and men can attain it. <laughs> Heaven is a place on Earth. Yeah, and it's it's Mina. Uh, so yeah, she gives um gives him Jonathan's journal as well to read through. So 
Uh, he later meets with both of them and is like uh, very confident. He's like, yeah, all that shit really happened, uh, which does wonders for him. And John's yeah. like, oh my god, you're okay. So I'm not insane. So he like he has a rally point from there. So all it all it took was a man to say it. <laughs> <laughs> well, right. I mean, Mina hadn't read it until then, right? <laughs> But someone else being like, yeah, totally, that definitely happened. So, mm-hmm. um, Ben Helsing's like, we're going to need your help. He's like, yeah, safe win. Uh, as they're departing, like, Van Helsing notes the story in the newspaper about kids disappearing. He's like, oh, God, so soon. So, uh, he goes immediately to Seaward, uh, tell him all the news, and uh, give him a very long. Di- or description of what's going on, like a breakdown. Yep. Yeah. I liked his like really long description. I think it was around there when he was yeah. telling Doctor Seward about like, uh, like, I don't know, basically like fucking witches and yetis and the Loch Ness monster. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what he was actually talking yeah, about. Yeah, I don't yeah, remember. yeah. But, but, but he was like, look at all this shit that science can't explain, and it's basically like, uh. Yeah, none of that shit, actually. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Look at this thing right? we made up, and science has no explanation for it, because we made yeah. it up. I mean, look at unicorns. Exactly. Jeez. Jeez. How, I mean, do, you, how do you explain unicorns <laughs> with your science? I don't know, a mutation? Maybe a mutation? Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, uh, basically, he's breaking down, I guess, the things going on with uh, Jonathan what he thinks going on here. And he's like, so that same thing uh, that bit Lucy is attacking children now. Mm-hmm. It's like, no, Lucy is dun, 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 dun. <laughs> no way. Yeah. So like the doctor is pissed. He's like, how dare you? Like, I loved that woman. Now you say she's like an undead monster. He's like, listen, you think oh. I took so long to say that? Cause I hate you or something. Like <laughs> <laughs> I knew you were going to like freak out. So I took a long time to build up to it. So yeah, tonight we're going to go prove it. So uh, they visit the child in hospital and uh, then do a breaking and entering in the graveyard. Yep. Let's open her coffin up and empty. Totally empty. Empty. Like, well, grave robbers, maybe. But uh, there's some movement uh, and another child is found just kind of in the graveyard, but unbitten. So like, (laughs) let's just leave this in the heath. For the police to come, come yep. get. <laughs> <laughs> you can't touch it though, or else the mother won't take it back because it'll smell. <laughs> <laughs> it made me laugh, and especially because it wasn't the only time it happened in this. In this oh yeah, <laughs> just, just leave it on the side of the road. Someone will get it. It's fine. It's... Leave it in the streets. <laughs> yeah. So some some white thing like that left a child and ran off, but. They go back again the next night. They didn't, reopen. they didn't have the safe place back then, you know? Leave it at a quick trip. Like the, the fire <laughs> station where they'll just take any baby. Right. Put it in a drawer at the library. It's fine. Yeah. Yeah. So they go back again the next night, reopen the empty coffin, but this time, <gasps> there's Lucy. Looking better than ever. Yeah. And uh, some jazz about her uh, having uh, traces of blood. What not? That's that's right. Yeah. 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 Well, I mean, you know, she's she's got a lot of like she lost a lot of blood before she got to make up for. That's it. right. You How know. are you reading my notes better than me? Like sh- <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's like blood back in her face. Yeah. Yeah. Again. Uh. So this is where Seward starts to kind of believe what Van Helsing has been telling him, but. uh uh, again, Van Helsing's like, now's like the right time for us to cut her head off because like, what if Arthur wants to see her later? And like, so basically we've got to get him on board before we really do anything. Yeah. Why, why tell him about it at all? Just yeah. fucking get how it over often, with. How often in, in the 1800s would you need to dig up your dead wife who wasn't even your wife to check on her? Right. Like, I guess maybe he was like one last time I got to see her before I like say goodbye forever. But yeah, like I don't want him to think that we did some shit. So. They they should have given her one of those bells, you know. Yeah, say I'm not dead. Grave, grave bells. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. Uh, Van Helsing decides he's gonna wait in the graveyard. 
like I'm not really afraid of Lucy, but uh, he who made her. And if I don't make it, the journals are all over here, uh, and it'll be up to you to take care of the rest. I'm out. But uh, luckily, he's not murdered in the graveyard that night, and is able to gather the men folk all together. Yep. So him and Arthur and Quincy and Seaward. And he's like, Arthur, I want to do something, but like, don't get mad. <laughs> I need your blessing before I do it. It's like, I don't really like buying a pig and a poke. And he's like, okay, fine. I want to take up your wife and cut off her head. Like, All right. <laughs> you, seem, down throat. you seem upset, but like, <laughs> Hear me out. At, le- at least come with me. <laughs> yeah. Hear me out. You're going to, you're going to love this later on. So, right. <laughs> You'll be glad you did. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So Scooby Doo style, they all go in again. Reopen oh, the shit. casket. You just, you just made me picture that. Like, Creeping like in. leading the way, holding the lantern, and like all of them kind of uh, in sync, like tiptoeing. Yeah. It turns out Lucy actually owned the deed to the asylum. Was trying to scare everyone away. Yeah. It was old man Lucy the whole time. I would have gotten away with it too. <laughs> yeah. So they open her casket again, and it's like a dis- fucking magic trick. Like, she's gone again. Mm-hmm. Like, every time you open it, she's back. But not this time, so. Uh, and she's like, I totally swear she was there yesterday. And they're like, all right, well, <laughs> I guess so. I guess a doctor wouldn't lie, especially not two doctors, but. Two right. doctors. Yeah. Totally trustworthy. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, uh, here's a technique for battling vampires I'd never heard of before. He, like, crumbles up a Jesus wafer into some Play-Doh yep. yeah. mm-hmm. to put a seal on the coffin, mm-hmm. I think. On the door. On the door. door. Yeah, to the right. tomb. There you go. You can't go. get out or in, I gotcha. depending on what you want. Oh, yeah. Okay. They talked about it being leaden, but... So what, did she have a yeah. coffin inside? Yeah, the mm-hmm. coffin in okay. the tomb. So yeah. the, the Jesus Play-Doh is on the door. Like, isn't this, like, a horrible misuse of Christ's body? Like... Sure, but yeah, say, I, like, I like how they're all horrified by it, and I was, I was just kind of like, "Ha!" <laughs> I mean, you use the tools you got against That's vampires. True. I That's think true. in that instance, it's okay. All is fair so, in love and vampires. You're right. <laughs> I'm just like, I just got Jewish stuff. What does that do? Am I even a target? Like fucking nothing. <laughs> Sorry, I, I don't know. Are there are there Jewish vampires? Where is that series? No. Well, as far as Jewish I know, vampires. it's because you guys have golems and shit. Like, you don't need. Yeah, I guess if we'd have something, it'll be someone who, like, steals souls or something, doesn't do blood. Because we're not <laughs> yeah. supposed to be around that shit. Like, That's true. That's probably why. You know. He's he's respectful of your religion. He's like, I know you guys Must don't be. fuck with blood. It's fine. <laughs> I'll just wear a talit all the time or something. That'll keep me, that'll keep me safe. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's, it's if you keep kosher. <laughs> well, I'm screwed, why you got to do it. There's, yeah. That's why I gotta do it. Your your blood is full of garlic already. <laughs> I'll just put some kosher salt around the room. Yeah. That, It'll sop that, up anything he's doing, so he probably won't come in. That yeah. works on witches, you know. too, so... It does, I've yep. learned. I saw a documentary about it. Yeah, me um. too. <laughs> so, yeah. So, they've, like, sealed up the tomb with Jesus Play-Doh, and, mm-hmm. uh... Again, that white figure returns again with a child. Uh... So Van Helsing throws open the light on her face and like, yep, that's her. That's Lucy. So again, she like yeets the child away. <laughs> <laughs> Which is a that's great a good way of describing it. <laughs> it's like, ah! Yeah. <laughs> Forget that They're guy. Like, yeah, the, the kid's like groaning on the ground. <laughs> it's like, yeah. whatever. Forget that kid. <sighs> <sighs> <laughs> well, that's what happens when you go for the blow f- blue fur lady. Like, sorry. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Take the risk, but... Yep. It's like beckoning to Arthur, like, sweetly and voluptuously to come to her. Yeah. It's like, they said voluptuous a bunch in this section. They really did. Um, but, but then uh, Van Helsing uh, crucifix blocks her. Ha ha! <laughs> no yep. Arthur for you. Mm-mm. And she's, like, kind of trapped between the cross and the, the Jesu dough. <laughs> uh, until he looks like a very small portion of it, and she's able to somehow, like, magically slip inside. Mm-hmm. So he's like, so now can I kill your wife? He's like, okay, fine. Yep. I agree. You gotta kill her. So, uh, Again, let's leave this kid where we left the other one and come back tomorrow. Which they do after like a funeral, so no one will be curious why they're just kind of hanging around. Yep. 
reopen her casket. Uh, she's there this time, but uh, Van Helsing's like explaining about how uh, vampires slash Nosferatu like propagate, which I'm sure we all know by now. But mm-hmm. basically, he's telling them how if you would just kill her, like it, that's what she wants. Mm-hmm. Like, she doesn't want to go on spreading all this like crazy shit. Like no. she doesn't want to be demon Lucy. She wants to be nice Lucy. Get her right, soul yeah. back. He's like, and I'll do it if I have to, but don't you think she'd rather, like, you did it? He's like, uh... All right. <laughs> okay. So, he gets the joy of pounding the stake, like, right into her heart. Looking very much like Thor, they noted. Like, phrasing. <laughs> seemed to take a while, too. Like, <laughs> hard work. Um, phrasing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, who would have thought? <laughs> There's much of blood-curdling screams and stuff, but when everything is done, they see there is their sweet Lucy again. And Valhan and Van Helsing's like, now you can kiss her. I'm like, no! Yeah. Ew. <laughs> My dead vampire wife who I just impaled in the heart? I'm like, no. Gross. Now she's free from the curse. She's got cooties now. Kiss her goodbye, yeah. and then <laughs> please leave while we cut off her head. Exactly. <laughs> uh. So yeah, that's basically what they do. And they yeah. mentioned that he solders her casket closed. So yeah, mm-hmm. just no in getting case out of she there. Comes back again, yeah. Already got a lead that's been soldered together. <laughs> There's no breaking that, especially no. if you're yeah. undead and strong like a vampire. Yeah, it you know definitely didn't work before. She right. can be pretty weak though, from the garlic in her mouth and her head not attached and the stake in her heart, so she probably couldn't get out. True, but they didn't but, burn her or anything. So, but Dracula could probably free her if he needed to. Yeah. And I thought they made a mention of this somewhere in here that, like, while she was a, a vampire, he could, like, use her grave as, like, a base. Mm-hmm. But now that she's yeah. dead, he can't do that anymore. But right. I didn't yeah. really understand what they were talking about. Well, it has, it has to be, uh, it has to be, what, hallowed in a particular way. I yeah. guess. Like, I guess. That, that's why you had to bring all of the fucking dirt from Transylvania. Yeah. Blood of the ancestors and whatnot. I guess. That made the uh, like know, the secret. The whole, it the it doesn't death. fucking matter. Like <laughs> it's all yeah. made up anyway. But well, but anyway, mm-hmm. so yeah. There is like okay. Now the real work begins, guys. So he uh, and Helsing hands over like the uh, the uh, Hawkins papers to Doctor Seward, and then uh, tells him to get to reading. But uh, he's kind of interrupted by Mina showing up. Like she's been sent ahead to stay with him at the asylum, which great place to holiday. Yeah, you know, totally in a, a insane asylum. But Best place. Uh, yeah, they kind of like swap notes. Like she's very interested in his wax cylinder that he's been recording on. <laughs> uh, super cool journal. Is like, can I hear that part where Lucy died? He's like, no, <laughs> it's secret. <laughs> it's my secret journal, and you cannot read it. But yeah. eventually, he's like, all right, it's fine. So. Uh, I like the note that Mina's like, this is too intense. Like listening to you talk about this is very intense. Like I could hear yeah. your like, uh, your uh, mourning. Yep. Uh, like exactly. Like recording things down is like the best way to do it. Right, guys. Uh, you can hear all of yeah. our emotional reactions to this stuff. Yes, all of our mm-hmm. all of our visceral. Uh, <laughs> you know. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Yeah, so they like they fill in each other's stories that way. But uh, uh, again, she's like, "I'm going to insist on transcribing this because, like, I can't go to a certain part of your story. Like, you don't have tracks on this shit. Can't be like." So flip to the B side is where he talks about the important thing. So the the B side of the wax cylinder. <laughs> yeah, Renfield would be the B side. Like, not interesting, but. Uh, <laughs> What's what's actually what's actually kind of weird about it is like if you've ever seen like somebody recording in a wax cylinder, uh-huh. uh, like you have to speak pretty loudly. So I'm yeah. just imagining him yeah. sitting in his office, like just shouting his thing. <laughs> shouting right. his notes, and then everyone wondering, and then the patient's oh. going, and he says we're crazy. Yeah. <laughs> well, she, she did. They they noted she could hear him from outside the room. Like, yeah, mm-hmm. I knew thought, you were taking notes he was and talking shit. to somebody. <laughs> yeah, right, right. Uh, but, so yeah, she's going to transcribe all his notes, and she's like, I should probably put all these documents into chronological order and mm-hmm. make this book that we've been reading. So Yeah. No. Yeah. And she does that in triplicate. Yeah. Jesus Christ. 
very efficient. But yeah, well, she does have the brain of a man, <laughs> and she learns shorthand. So yeah, yeah. But uh, Jonathan then arrives and helps with the group project. Um, he again, points out that Dracula's house is like right next door. Um, and he's like, yeah. And whenever Renfield's like going crazy, this stuff was probably going on over there. Like it's probably when he was in the house doing shit. Oh so. my god, probably. Um, and they note that like actually at the moment Renfield's like great. Mm-hmm. Like, he wants to be like set out. It's like uh. I'm perfectly sane, everybody. Just let me out. It's fine. Yeah. Yeah. But at least talking is, like, like, really awesome. No problem. Yeah. 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 No, like, maybe not the best idea, though. I don't know. Yeah. Probably should keep him in here, so, but... um, But he's, he's like, you're gonna regret it, and it's on you. (laughs) (laughs) Right. Exactly. (laughs) Just remember that I asked. Like... Yep. Yeah. You fucks. Um, so yeah, Jonathan also tracks down uh, those big boxes of common earth yep. that were delivered to Car Fox, and we and we get to hear uh, we get to hear more descriptions of people being thirsty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's where that many, part came in. Many more. Yep, <laughs> yep. Uh, Mina receives Arthur and the Texan because the Doctor and Jonathan are out doing God knows what. Um, uh, hands them their homework. <laughs> yep. And, uh, uh, yeah, this is where you were talking about before. She's like, uh, she's like the meme at the party. She's sitting in the corner. She's like, they don't know I, I know that they confessed their love to Lucy before. Like, <laughs> yeah. I know right. about your dirty no secrets, idea. guys, but. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, they're about to find out. Yeah, they're about to find out she knows that. Like, should I include <laughs> this stuff? And uh, I guess we all should just know what we all know. Like, it's fine. Yep. Now there's no secrets between us. Right, right. Yeah, and uh, yeah, that's in the moment alone with Arthur. She expresses some sympathies and he just like breaks down. Because, you know, motherly women is the only people that are okay to do this for, so. Yeah, she's been married for like three weeks and uh, already. Yeah. She's, she's probably like fucking 19 years old. <laughs> yep. Middle but I guess. No. She's like, this is going to be like when I have kids. Like, I'm going to have to comfort them, too. So, yes, it's just Better practice. get it in now. Get some practice. Yeah. She's, she's learned that men are big babies. <laughs> Hold them to your bosom. Well, let them cry it out. Even even Quincy's like, I want to get in on this. Like, <laughs> yeah. I'm going to do that. And, and tell and, them uh, to go play in the backyard. <laughs> calls her little sis or whatever. But, yeah. Uh, Mina decides she wants to meet Renfield because she's read all about him. Like, she's a fan. Yeah. yeah. Um, Who wouldn't be? Renfield's like, can I tidy up first and like eats all his spiders and shit, <laughs> which I thought was great. That's great. Oh, yeah. gotta clean up. Oh, come, 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 come. <laughs> it's like, oh wait, prepared. you're not the one the doctor was in love with though. Mm-hmm. So like, he knows all the notes too. Again, maybe because he's nearby and can hear him recording on wax. Probably. Cylinder. <laughs> Dude's fucking loud. <laughs> Yelling. Yeah. yeah. Uh, he very calmly talks about his belief in eating life to extend his own, uh, before they have to go and meet with Van Helsing. And he's like, goodbye, I hope I never see you again. Mm-hmm. So he's a good dude. Yeah. He knows what's going on. Yeah, and I, you know, I, I have to say I feel for him, like, having that, uh, you know, moment of lucidity in between, like, bouts yeah. of craziness. Like, right. That really sucks. <laughs> it really yeah. sucks. Yeah, especially when you're like, it's fucking vampires involved too. Like, yeah, this is going to be miserable for you if things go south. Yeah, when they go south, I mean. But and uh, right, he's he's just waiting for the next time he goes crazy too. So. Yeah. Yep. Um, so they meet together for a council. They like let me tell you a lecture about vampires, and you know it's basically the usual stuff. Yeah, stuff we already know about vampires. With they can turn into moonbeam dust. Yeah, but no sparkling yeah. was mentioned. Just throwing no, that out there. That's good. Yeah, yeah. Only that's one sparkling. heretical source has them sparkle. <laughs> <laughs> we because all know why? What that is. Because why? Yeah. Because but, why? But like, we have to fight him now. Like, uh, and we should uh, use all the advantages we have. Mm-hmm. Like, we can be awake at day. 
to do stuff during the Bas- day. Basically, that's what they came up with. Basically, yeah. that's it. That's, that's our plan. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He's like, we have to fight him or we shield, as Bruno Mars says, be locked out of heaven. Because <laughs> <laughs> he'll turn us all. But... <laughs> yeah. It's the beginning but, of a fucking zombie movie. So yeah, they've got daylight, they've got garlic, they've got mm-hmm. running water, and like not being invited in places. Those are their weapons. So yeah, uh, Quincy runs off all of a sudden. He's like, "Hold yeah. on, I see something." Yeah, <laughs> does this shoot does, at a bat like at the does window? The most does the most Texan thing ever, <laughs> right? Just Shoots runs outside to shoot his gun. <laughs> Shoots into the window of the room where they're all standing. Like, guy. <laughs> oh, my bad. Could you not? <laughs> we are all right here. Sorry. <laughs> We're already a little on edge, so. Yeah. He's like, I just don't like these bats anymore. <laughs> what is before you do that, though, you know? Yeah. Right? Like. Yeah. I guess the bat would hear then and ruin a shot. I guess. <laughs> He's like, oh, shit, I gotta go. But. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, everyone basically decides this is as far as Mina should go because she's a woman and too dear to lose. Like, we don't want to lose yeah. another someone we can cry for. Like, Yeah, even even though, you know, she she's like such a great help and everything. Yeah. Yeah. She's putting things together. She's helping out a lot, but whatever. Yeah. She's she's the fucking heart and soul of the team. They're like, anyway, we're going to go do like we're going to fight vampires and shit. You go to bed. Yeah. <laughs> she- as if I could sleep when like the undead are roaming around and my husband is going to go fight them. Like That's fine. I'll just uh take a pill or whatever, but yeah, you know. Yeah. Melatonin. Yeah. And a brandy. <laughs> I'll yep. just not look at my cell phone for 2 hours before bed and I'll be fine. Just yeah. dissolve that melatonin pill <laughs> in your brandy. <laughs> Oh. Go ahead and chug it. You'll be good. Have, have some of that laudanum wine. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. They had that back then. The perfect. perfect. She uh, has some uh, CBD gummies and goes right to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I want to try CBD gummies now. Uh, you should. They're good. Yeah. Yeah. Although, so like, I had some that weren't good for me, but mm. gave me a very <laughs> bad headache. But, I'll have um, to ask Brittany. She's knowledgeable on such things. Yeah, ask Brittany. Yeah. Do that. Uh, Help my life out a little bit. <laughs> Don't do it now, though. Like, wait till we're done. No. Yeah. I'll wait. I'll wait. Yeah. And uh, before they set out, though, there's like another summons to go talk to Renfield. Like, um, he's very eloquent, but like again, very urgent. He's like, I gotta get out of here. Like, but he knows shit about everybody. Like, he even talks to the guy about Texas, who recently admitted to the Union, mm-hmm. and Monroe Doctrine. Like, that's not the kind of thing I expect a guy in a, in a a loony bin to know about. You learned right? from one of his spiders. Like maybe. Apparently. Texan spider. But yeah. Yep. Yeah. But anyway, once again he's like, I gotta get out like right now and tonight. And they're like, uh, would you want to tell us why? He's like, Nope. Not at liberty. I'm like, then I guess you can't come out. But again, this is where he's saying, like, just remember that I asked. Yeah. Very politely. And I talked about Texas being awesome, so <laughs> I'm sure Quincy was on his side, but yeah, Quincy, didn't Quincy one of them actually like could, shit immediately? Yeah, couldn't you just let him out? Like, isn't it okay? Well, anyway, right? Uh, Seems fine. He equips the team with garlic and crosses and holy water, which is like the worst weapon from Castlevania, in my opinion. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> gotta get that dagger. Yeah, definitely dagger, or at least axe. Axe, if axe. not dagger. Like, the only thing worse than the holy water is, like, the, the dust. <laughs> I don't even know what that is. Maybe that is the Jesus Play-Doh. I don't know, but... Maybe. Anyway. I don't think they had the Jesus Play-Doh in the, uh... <laughs> well, they should have. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. They uh, use a skeleton key to break into Car Fox. And, uh... Not much is found inside, though they all do seem to be, like, seeing faces peering out of the darkness on occasion. Like, ah! Because uh, yeah. maybe there is a face peering no. at them out of the no, darkness. No, they're just they're just nervous or something. I don't know. Oh, okay. No, or maybe there is, but yeah. But also, oh my god, the stench! <laughs> it's like <laughs> bad breath times a million, guys. Like it stinks in there. No, gross. And they do find those boxes of earth, uh, and realize that uh, twenty one of the fifty have already been moved around. So, dude's already mm-hmm. like opening branches. Mm-hmm. Gonna install Dracula near you, like 
<laughs> it up. It's like fucking Starbucks over here, but <laughs> and then like a sudden flood of rats just sweep in. That's but luckily, cool. luckily Arthur is like, I brought my silver whistle. Ha! He blows <laughs> it and summons his terriers that come over and fuck him up, chase him around. Uh, men are like, okay, good work, guys. Let's go home. <laughs> We did all we need to do. We counted the boxes, I guess, but <laughs> yeah, time to time to go. Yeah, yeah. And when they get back, uh, they make a note that there's um, some moaning in Renfield's room and like someone screaming somewhere. Mm. And uh, man, Mina is pale and oh. kind of confused when he Fuck. wakes her up. Uh oh. Oh no! <sighs> Not Mina. Like she's the best one. Oh no! Yeah. Yeah. Oh no. So Van Helsing is like, I'm going to interview this Renfield guy again. I liked him yesterday. But this time he's like very sullen and not nearly as eloquent. He's like, you stupid Dutch guy. I'm like, yeah. I want to talk to you. Uh, Mina is writing in her journal about a dream that she had. Like when the guys left, like a fog came into the house. A fog? Yeah. And like there's she this. She should like... have remembered from that meeting the other night. <laughs> <laughs> How well, did she not put it together? Yeah, and there's like a white face like materializing out of smoke, like almost exactly like uh, both in the Bible and like uh, Lucy had said. I feel um, like that experience gives you some amnesia. Yeah, could be, could be. And now she's like having trouble sleeping. So she's like, Doc, can I have like an opiate? Yeah. Like, yeah, sure, great. But just God as she's drifting it. off, she's kind of like, maybe I shouldn't have been drugged for this part. <laughs> anyway, the end of that set. <laughs> the <laughs> end. Yeah. Oh my god. Mina, if Mina dies, I'm quitting this book. Yeah. Agreed. Mina She's... needs to live. One, exactly. one star Goodreads review. <laughs> right. That killed the best character. Yeah. She better she better be the one to turn it around and be like, maybe I'm turning you into a nice guy instead. You turning me into a vampire. Oh man. Dracula. That is... That is a modern take on this story. <laughs> what a, a masochistic boy, lion. Save him. Yeah. The lion shall lay down with the lamb. What a masochistic lion or whatever. Right. Or was it the lamb? I forget. Yeah. I will I'll stop quoting Twilight as soon as I can. Um, yeah. <laughs> For real. Yeah. Although if like they fell in love and like had to hang out at school and then like a uh, werewolf showed up, I'd be cool with that too. <laughs> as long as she lives <laughs> or something as long as she's happy anyway so yeah shit's about to go crazy mm. they're off fighting Dracula himself now probably Dracula. and they need to do it before Mina becomes a vampire otherwise yeah. she'll be lost to them forever yeah she won't be able to go to heaven and she'll be able to stay keep typing the heart again. <laughs> you know? yeah. yeah and we need someone to transcribe notes if she's like a vampire, who's going to write about the, the book? Who's writing yeah, the book? I'll never now. find out what I was happens. Gonna say, she, she has to live because there's the rest <laughs> I guess of the so. Book. I guess so. That's, this proves it. Although, it's going to end with her typing up everyone else's journals. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, up until be the now. last fucking page. <laughs> yeah. yep. And now right. I'm done typing. <laughs> the yep. end. The My boyfriend end. Dracula just came back, and we're going to play piano together. <laughs> we're going to have a party. Yeah, have some blood wine. Oh, well, no, maybe some blood yeah. oranges. Maybe because he's a that's he, pretty exotic. She made him a vegan now, so yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he lives on True Blood and blood oranges. Correct. Yeah. So now we got to read the rest of this goddamn book. Oh yeah, we do. But I expect this part to go much quicker. Yeah, because I don't, I don't anticipate a whole lot of soliloquies. No, I think no. It's but be... I mean, you never know. Never know. That's true, but I think it'll be a little more action. Yeah. We're gonna. I I feel like there's gonna be a speech. Dracula's mm-hmm. gonna make a speech. Oh, I he had better. Him. Yeah, <laughs> I expect nothing less. I want to feel he's, guilty about him dying later. Yeah, he's he's gonna talk about his uh, grand history. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. His like four hundred years of murdering. Right. <laughs> What got me here to where I am today? Right. We started at the bottom. What my plans are for tomorrow. <laughs> for the next started from the bottom. Years. Now I'm here. Killing people. Yeah. Um, do you guys have anything else that's good? Oh, jeez. No. 
Just <laughs> I busy. Love that. Nope. <laughs> changes at school. Yeah. Trying to read. Yeah. Um, you know, Anything good? Normal. Or just this book? Just this book. Which I could be things. included I in have... things that are good. I just want to throw that yeah, out there. But... I did start... I keep starting Audible books. I'm like never finishing them. But Yeah. yeah. I did yeah. start the new Stephen King one, Fairy Tale. Oh yeah, I hear good things. That's pretty good so far. I'm only a few hours into it, but it's pretty pretty good. Is yeah. there a child murder? Huh? Is there? No, I don't know murder? yet. I'm sure they haven't. Feel like, I feel they like haven't it's... gotten. I haven't listened enough yet to get to the the weird shit yet. Just yeah, introducing the kid to the old man and the dog that play a major role. So, <laughs> and then I've only one got. Time... We saw that Six... do- that Doctor Sleep movie, and they literally murdered a kid. I like, do on screen yeah. for everyone to yeah. watch. So it's bound to happen. That yeah. was. A, it's nice to see that in a movie. Sometimes you know, <laughs> really they're willing is. to go there. You know, especially yeah. something that's supposed to be kind of like that. Like, okay, good, we're we're here. We didn't lose that. Yeah, yeah. exactly. And I've got six hours left of Cloud Cuckoo Land, which has been fun. Oh yeah, yeah. I've been actually I've really s- liking that. I've seen that, but I've not. I've been interested, but I have not gone further than that. It's neat, but like, I really like. What's liked, it about? Uh, it's about multiple people through different times, all linked together by this one fake ancient book. Oh, it's supposed to be. I think it was supposed to be an Aristophanes title, but I can't remember. And it was a silly play thing called Cloud Cuckoo Land. Uh huh. When it's translated from the Greek. So ah. it's about all these different characters that get woven in, and one, some of them is the same guy, but two different ports of, points of his life. Uh-huh. Like when he was a young man for a Korean War, and then he's an old man as a librarian in this town, and I can't remember where, Oregon or Idaho or something like that. Is is Cloud Cuckoo Land, is, is it like, is it a location in Gulliver's Travels or something? I feel like... No, but it was supposed to be something, I don't think, in... It was in Lego so, Movie, right? Probably. It's been pretty was good, it, but it it's kind of like... Movie? Wasn't that where uh, Unikitty lives? Uh, <laughs> <Kiki> <laughs> I don't know. You know what? I think you're right. I think Maybe. So. I think you are correct. Yeah. But I think it's one of those ones That's that where was I know lost. It from. <laughs> yeah. I don't know I was, from like ancient Greek like, and shit. Like, I was like, <laughs> why is this so familiar? <laughs> but it's kind of like the... Oh God, the one I read from... The other guy, like, ten years ago, they made a movie about... Cloud Atlas? Yeah, that's it. It's kind of like that, in that it features different time periods and links them all together in a way. Mm-hmm. But that's the only thing they share in common. It's not, and it's the, not word the same cloud. arc up. Yeah, yeah in cloud. Go. So... Those books are hosted on another server. Yep. Not well, Wikipedia here says that Cloud Cuckoo Land is a state of absurdity over optimistic fantasy or an unrealistically idealistic state of mind... Where everything appears to be perfect. Oh. So, in the modern world, someone who's seen as crazy or strange, people like that kind of stuff. Well, where, did this, where did you come from? <laughs> Tell me, <laughs> what is your origins? Sir. Okay, so it actually was a real Aristophanes thing. Oh. There you Wrote go. and directed the drama The Birds. Yeah. In which Pistotherus, a middle-aged Athenian, persuades the world's birds to create a new city in the sky to be <laughs> Nephilakogiga, or Cloud Cuckoo Land. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so it is yeah. an actual Wait, real Aristophanes thing we lost in the time. Birds? That's from the birds? Cloud yes. Cuckoo? All right. Apparently. I learned something. So I thought maybe they made that up for the book, but all they made mm. up is the details that they have in it. Nice. Because in this book, it exists clearly enough that people can study it and make plays about it and shit like that. So that's how it kind of gets interwoven throughout the story. And it goes all the way from some people in Constantinople when the, when the Turks are coming up to like way in the future on a generation ship. Mm -hmm. So, and it weaves all in between. It's actually pretty neat. I've been really enjoying it. I just don't listen to it all the time. So, but I've got most of it done. Apparently I've only got six hours left. I've got credits to spend. Maybe I'll spend them on It's worth it. (laughs) I think it's worth it. All right. So. Cool, cool. There it is. Yeah, and I got some... What's the latest ones I got? I just got some books today on Audible. Oh, The Left Hand of Darkness. I used one of my credits to get that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. And then they had uh, one of their produced one 
things they do, Audible Originals that are free, Space 1969, yeah. narrated by Natasha Leone and other people. Oh, that sounds so, fun. That sounded fun, but definitely Left Hand of Darkness was like, oh yes. Yeah, it's yeah. Fun. Gotta. So. Gotta do it. Yeah, do. cool. You really do. If you have to read That's one. That's what I've been listening read to, so. That's a good one to read. Yeah. Cool. I figured. <laughs> uh, other Chris, anything that's good? Uh, so I I started reading a manga called uh, Oyasumi Foon Foon. Okay. Oyasumi, um, like let's go to yep. bed. Foon Foon. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, like good night. Good night. Mm-hmm. Good night. Um, is Foon Foon a character in it? Lila yeah, Tove. Foon Foon is a character. Okay. I've sussed out the title. You have. <laughs> you've, you've figured it out. Uh, but it is uh, really fucking weird. Uh-huh. So the, uh, the like, the art style um, reminds me of, like, uh, like an Oshimi or, like, a, um, I don't know, like, uh, who's the other guy? Who did, who did like, Uzumaki and uh, Ito? Oh yeah, Junji Ito. Ito. Yeah, yeah. So like, like that kind of like incredibly detailed, kind of grotesque faces, you know, uh-huh. on like normal people. Yeah, like like how you get these like weird close up shots where they're like they just look fucking insane. The way that yeah. they're smiling or the way their eyes are shaped or like you know, just something about their expressions is something just psychologically really horrifying. You know, people like this. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, oh my god. Ah! Um but uh but it's it's about Poon Poon. Uh-huh. And uh Poon Poon, the main character, is actually drawn as this weird kind of formless bird. Uh-huh. He he looks kinda like a ghost with a beak and little bird legs, you know? Mm-hmm. Um and he's, you know, like this elementary school kid. And so he kind of doesn't understand the world around him or what's going on. And so okay. it's kind of that um, that kind of dramatic irony of you reading it as an adult and understanding all of the fucked up stuff that's happening around him yeah. while he does not. Right. And so, like, he, he talks about, like, in the, in the first chapter, like, uh, you know, his, his first crush at school is, like, the popular girl. And he, like, fell in love with her. Uh-huh. Uh, when he saw her, like, behind the school building, like, sitting on this kid, shoving gravel into his mouth. <laughs> oh, and, like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and she, like, transfers away, and, like, this new girl shows up, and, uh, you know, so it's it's kind of about him and her, and it's also about him and, like, his uh, totally dysfunctional home life. Oh, like, boy. with his abusive dad. Jeez. And, like... It's very uplifting. It, Sounds like it. <laughs> oh my god, it's so weird. Yeah, and so fucked up, and uh, <laughs> I, like I don't know. It's it's really good though. Yeah. So check it out. All right. All right. Cool. Good night, Foom Foom. Yes. I learned a wonderful Boom. German thing here. Looking, reading about this cloud cuckoo land. Volken okay. Kuckoosheim. <laughs> That's the name in German. Volken Kuckucksheim. Nice. Good pronunciation, I think, too. Yeah, hopefully, and close. I mean, I have no name. idea, but it sounds like it. <laughs> yep. You convinced me. You, right. just, you have to just sound angry. Yeah. Volken Kuckucksheim! <laughs> Maybe that's closer, I don't know. <laughs> Definitely closer. And we've alienated all of the Germans. <laughs> I'm right. sorry, Germans. Sorry. Hopefully the Zambians are still here, though. Hopefully they are. Germans, if you're there, please write in. Please do follow us. Yeah. <laughs> you we can have sorry. fun at our Tell expense us. for my terrible German, because I we clearly are, don't speak your language. We're so sorry. Teach yeah. us a complicated compound word that describes exactly how dumb we are. <laughs> yes, please. I would love to know this. <laughs> oh, man. Well, uh, I've also been reading some comics. Oh, uh, actually catching up on some, so not like uh, obscure comics or anything, but mm-hmm. I was reading through uh, Spy Family. Okay. Oh, or yeah. do, you, do you say the X? I don't know. Spy Family. Usually you don't in those yeah. titles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
spy family, which is really cool. Uh, Heard it's good. For those who don't know, it's like basically a spy whose mission is to get into, I don't know, Eurasia or yeah. Oceania. I forget what it's called, but some made up big uh, enemy country. Yeah. And to do it, they're like... One. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, to do so, they're like, what you're going to do is you're going to get a kid and you're going to get him enrolled in this really, really, uh, what, highfalutin daycare or yeah. like prep school. Because all of the world, le- or the world leaders from Eurasia go there. So you can get your target that way. Yeah. So like, yeah, I don't have a kid though. Like, whatever. We'll, <laughs> so he goes, we'll assign you a kid. <laughs> yeah. So he goes and just adopts as a kid um, to help him... With his uh, mission to infiltrate a fucking daycare, mm-hmm. and they're like, uh, "But it will never work uh, if it's just you as a single parent. They won't let you in." Mm-hmm. So he uh, meets some random lady and is like, uh, "Should we get married?" <laughs> yes. <laughs> if I remember, it's like the excuse is that she's gonna like be looked poorly upon because of her government job that she's got. Mm-hmm. Not being married, she's like, "Well, I want to keep working there, and I don't have someone I'm going to marry, so I'll marry you instead." Nice. So. Perfect. Good reason to get married. So they got this uh, family together with the sole purpose of getting their adopted daughter into a daycare so they can do spy shit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Except the lady that he marries is actually like a brutal assassin. Mm-hmm. And, oh. Uh, that's why she hasn't married before, because she kills oh. all these people. Surprise. And actually, the kid they adopted is a psychic and so knows both of their secret lives while they don't <laughs> know anything about each other. So, you know, <laughs> your basic threes company situation. Yeah, right? yeah. <laughs> Sounds like some good shenanigans there. But yeah, it's uh, it's surprisingly cute. Mm-hmm. I don't know. With that setup, there's a lot of them like, ah, that's really nice. Like, yeah. <laughs> it's nice that that brutal assassin, like, is teaching her how to do karate and stuff. Yeah. In case she needs to murder any of her classmates. There's a, right. Uh, there's an anime now. Yeah, there is. I've heard about the anime. Yeah. So, uh, I'm about, I don't know, halfway through the series so far as what's been published, so mm-hmm. but I'm digging it. Cool. Um, I'm also nice. catching up on Heartbreakers. Um, oh, yeah. Which is like British Dojin, mm-hmm. essentially. Yeah. It's like, you know, a story about some high school guys that decide that they are going to uh, start dating, so. Yeah. It's also full of a lot of cute, cute stuff going on, but mm-hmm. it's pretty cool. I would recommend it to people. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, yeah. That's all I got. All right. <laughs> and what I don't recommend is Fort Worth. Just don't uh, yeah, forget. I'm getting <laughs> that message. <laughs> so Chris, when you go down there, because you're going to make it, you're we're not, not gonna going go that to Fort far. Worth. No, we're going to go yeah. to Irving and no further. Okay. <laughs> Be sure to get some Whataburger for me. <laughs> I'm sure we can do better than Whataburger. Yeah, absolutely. But you should it's, have some. It is it is good, but we're gonna. I feel like they we're gonna burn Chris's quality. one meal. We're not gonna use it on Whataburger. That's yeah, right. That's true. <laughs> use it on something better. One meal a day. Like... <laughs> okay, that was our session for today. Homework, if you're reading along, is easy. Just read until there isn't any book left. So easy. Also, some important on second thoughts today. First of all, that book I was just talking about reading is not called Heartbreakers. It's called Heart Stopper. Heartbreakers, I think, is a movie that I have never seen. Heart Stopper, singular, is the comic series that I'm digging on. Sorry, uh, old man brain. Also, Fort Worth is a fine place, really. I've seen some cool-ass concerts there. I've enjoyed a beverage at the Flying Saucer over in Sundance Square, and their zoo is nice. I really like that it doesn't have a freaking road going right through the middle of it like in the Dallas Zoo. I just wish it didn't take so long to get over to all that stuff, you know? Today's episode was mercifully executed before it could yeet any children into the heath, with thanks to Chris, Chris Ham, Chris, other Chris Jacobson, It was edited by me, Travis Rowe, and was sponsored by no one in particular. Until next time, keep fucking reading.
and all my wives like to eat children. Yep. But unless someone scares them, they just toss them off. Like, yeah. Right. <laughs> toss, toss them away, I should say. They don't right. toss them off. They toss them away. <laughs> 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 These are children, after all. <laughs> what kind of podcast is this? I'm going to make a note Not to the, the editor to cut that out. Like, that's distasteful. <laughs> This is not the podcast you all thought. <laughs> I mean, surprise no, kind of is that podcast. It's exactly. I'm no, sorry. It is. Remember, it, it we is. started with Jack Trucks. Like, this Jack is exactly trucks. where we were always going. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah.